In this video, we will look at the list data structure. A list is a complex data type. You can think of a list as an ordered sequence of boxes. Each box can contain A some data. In this case, each box contains a number. Lists are defined using square brackets. The values within the L list are separated by commas. The whole list can be assigned to a single variable. In this example, the variable called my list has a value that is a list. Here are four lists. Lists can have different lengths, and they can contain different data types. You can also have an empty list. Here are two ways of defining a list using a pseudocode textual programming approach. The two lists are the same. We will sometimes use the second approach in these slides, since it can be a clearer. However, note that in Mobius Modeler, input boxes have a single line. A list can also contain a mixture of different data types. In this case, the boxes contain a string, a number, a boolean, and two null values. Finally, a list can also contain other lists. In this example, the fifth item in the list is another list. You can think of this as boxes inside boxes. We will cover this later in more detail. When writing code, you need to be able to get values out of lists and put values into lists. This requires you to be able to reference a specific location in the list. This is done using a numeric integer index. You can think of this index as the box number. In code, the index is written after the list name, also in square brackets. The fact that both the list and the index use square brackets can be a little confusing at first. Here are some examples of getting values out of a list. Notice that the first item in the list has an index of 0. If you use an index that is beyond the end of the list, then the result will be undefined. Note that this does not cause an error, it just creates an undefined value. Later in your code, that undefined value might cause some other error. Here are some examples of setting values in a list. Note that if you want to index the last item in a list, then the index will be the length of the list minus 1. This is a common source of errors. Finally, you can also use negative indexes. This is often useful for getting the last item in a list, since the index will always be minus 1. Here are some examples using negative indexing.